Hello, this is Yasuo. Um, I'm sorry I don't sound very chipper right now. I, I woke up like an hour ago and I'm still a little groggy. <laughs> um, and my dog is drinking water right now. Sorry about that. Um, today I, I wanted to kind of talk about a few things. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a long time. <laughs> I think it's been over a month since my last video. Um, yeah, definitely been over a month since my last video. But uh, today I wanted to address some things. Um, I know there's been like multiple videos of this on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of people posting about it online and stuff like that. And um, I'm, I'm usually not a very open person. I don't, I don't like to talk in Discord chats. I don't really... I'm not good in like group settings. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm worth talking to, I guess. Um, and that's something that I'm working on. And um, I guess for this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about that, talk a, bit, a little bit about my anxiety and depression and stuff like that. Um, I, I can't say I have depression because I haven't been uh, diagnosed with it. But I have seen a psychiatrist about my anxiety. Psychiatrist or psychologist? I think he was a psychologist. But anyways, he was a great guy. Um, a lot of help. He helped me a lot with my uh, social anxiety um, when it came to like going somewhere on my own. Um, I can now go to the mall relatively okay. <laughs> Before I would, you know, freak out. I wouldn't really... I don't know I just I, I couldn't go on my own it was just not an option but now um, yeah I, I'm doing a lot better uh, but I still I still have anxiety I, it's not something that I can just get rid of like I know how to deal with it in a social situation like going out on my own but I still face it every day basically um, as far as uh, depression goes uh, I think I have depression, but I'm not sure. Again, I didn't, I didn't go to him for depression. I went for anxiety. So, you know, it's not like I sat there and I went, I think I have depression. And then he tested me for it or anything like that. It was, we were mostly working on anxiety because that's what he focuses on is anxiety. And <clears throat> he helped me a lot with that. Um, so if you can find someone that can help you, that you can talk to, um, it really does make a huge difference. Um, and you know, so sometimes, sometimes you're just, you're depressed because the chemicals in your brains are just not working. And I know a lot of people that have that. And, you know, for me, I, I can kind of stop myself from telling myself that I'm not worth it, that I'm, that I, you know, that I should just jump off a bridge, you know, I can, I can cry it out. I can look at my surroundings, basically be mindful of where I'm at right now. Just at the moment that I'm at, just look around me and be like, I'm here, you know, I'm, I'm alive. You know, the world isn't, there's no one here telling me anything. It's just myself telling myself that I am not worth it, that I should jump off a bridge that you know this and that <clears throat> sorry if my throat's like gunky it's because allergies but um you know some people just can't they can't they they can't do that and they need medication they need further therapy they need um they need another voice to tell them that they're worth it that they, that they shouldn't do the thing that they're about to do and stuff like that um, I've had more than one friend tell me about, you know, how, how they will try to kill themselves and it's, it's really, <laughs> it's hard because on, uh, it's hard for the other person too, the person that you're telling that to, um, because they start feeling worthless because they, they can't, they can't make you feel any better. And that's, you know that's okay. I, I, <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't say those things to people because you'll make them feel guilty. You, you should definitely tell people because 
that's how you get help. But I don't know. The it's it's really hard when more than one person tells you that you know I I don't want to live anymore, and it's it makes you feel like you can't do anything, and um, it's really hard. Uh, but anyways, um, and for me, <laughs> especially for me, I'm the kind of person who wants everybody to be happy. Um, so whenever there's a negative situation going on, I just shut down because I don't know, I don't know what to do because nothing I can do will help. But you know, if, if worse comes to worse, if you're, if you're at a close distance to said friend who is thinking about suicide or has, is, is acting weird or anything like that, like go to them. Don't, don't just, you know, don't, don't ignore them. Don't sit back and, and, you know, let them figure it out on their own because worst case scenario is that you will never talk to them again. Um, I know this is a really hard subject to talk about and, you know, I, I, luckily I have never really lost a friend due to suicide. Um, I have lost friends for other accidents and, and such, but I have never lost a friend to suicide yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> I would, I would, no. Um, but I did almost lose a few friends due to suicide and, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to it's it's hard to reach out for help especially when you have depression and anxiety you don't want people to worry um you also feel like you don't you, you shouldn't be asking for these things because you know other people have it much worse and that's a mentality that i i hate <laughs> cuz i i have that too like i'll 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 bitch and cry to my husband or something and then in the back of my head I'm like you're so stupid why are you you know why are you why are you complaining you have so many good things like some people have like no internet or like no electricity or water and here you are bitching and complaining because you feel sad and it's like I really shouldn't beat myself up for it because I I just can't help it I it, it, it just happens you know some days it's just not a good day um, and, you know, you should also not guilt people into thinking that either. And that's, that's part of the reason why I haven't really told my family or we don't really talk about depression or anything like that, um, or mental illnesses or anything like that in, in our family, because that's, um, I guess it's taboo. Like, you know, don't complain. Like it's, it's not that bad. Like, oh, you're just sad. And get over it. Just try, try being happy. <laughs> you know, and sometimes you just can't help it. Like there, there, there might be exterior factors and there, there's interior factors and the interior factors is just something that you just can't change. And it's really hard, um, to just think positively, you know, uh, I'm rambling a lot in this video because I don't really have a script. I'm just talking out of my ass and it might be a little long, but I hope you don't mind. Um, another, another thing that I, that I want to talk about is like the whole, oh, think positive thing. Um, one thing that my psychologist, um, told me is that that's bullshit, basically. Um, you know, think, thinking positively is not helpful at all because it, it gives you expectations that everything around you is okay and basically gives you false hope. It, it just... It completely disregards the problem, you know. It it makes you delusional. Um, it makes you think, oh, everything's fine. Like there's there's nothing wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And when everything is not fine, and you know that it's not fine, it'll hurt a thousand times worse because you made yourself think that it was fine. And you kept pushing it aside, but back in, in the back of your head, you're thinking it's not fine, you know? So really what, what he suggested is that to think rationally, think reasonably. So 
as an example, I, I have anxiety going to the mall on my own because of because of a lot of years of bullying in school. I am terrified of the idea of being in an open area such as the mall with so many people looking at me, <laughs> basically. And you know, you might look at me and be like, that's stupid, you have colorful hair, of course people are gonna look at you. What are you, an idiot? Like, you know, I, I have colorful hair because I like colorful hair. That's That has nothing to do with wanting attention. I just like how my hair looks. The the fact that, you know, people are gonna be drawn to me, like, yeah, that's that's a given, but I don't want it. <laughs> like, I don't want that. Um, and I'm not gonna change my hair color because fuck that, I like having colorful hair. But anyways, um, so yeah, my anxiety comes from, from bullying and being looked at at the mall. And, you know, being, being maybe slightly, slightly overweight, I'm not necessarily obese, but I fall in the above average spectrum, I guess. Um, so, you know, plus size clothing are too big for me. Normal clothing is too small for me. I'm like somewhere in the middle and it sucks. But anyways, um, so yeah, my anxiety falls from that and, um, you know, he asked, like, okay, well, do you do you actually see them, like, laughing at you? And it's like, well, I hear them laughing. Like, I don't look at them because I don't want attention drawn to me, so I just ignore them. And he goes, well, okay, realistically, um, even if they are laughing at you, so what? Like, what, what, what's the worst scenario? Like, what is the worst case scenario if a teenage girl is laughing at you? And it's like, well, it sucks, first of all. Like, <laughs> it sucks being laughed at. It sucks, like, you know, getting bad attention. But at the same time, who cares? You know, like, it's... They're not your boss. They're... They, they, they don't control your life. Just, you know, accept that, yeah, maybe some people are going to make fun of you. Some people are going to, you know, not like you as a person and that's okay you don't need them in your life and um you know it's it's hard because you they're strangers you don't know what they're thinking you don't know what they're laughing at and you know what nine times out of ten they're laughing because they're just hanging out with their friends they're not laughing at me and if they are laughing at me they're you know who cares <laughs> like basically you just have to I don't know. You just have to think realistically when it comes to those things. This is what I learned. Um, so, you know, when, when, when I hear like a little girl pointing at my hair and going like, oh, colorful or whatever, like, all right. Yeah. Like, obviously they're going to look at me and, and, and think that because, or like, you know, point, point me out because I have colorful hair. Of course. Like, I can't deny that. Um, realistically she's just she noticed me <laughs> that's it like <laughs> you know um same with like older people i get i get shit shit on by older people everywhere i go because of my colorful hair i don't have any tattoos or anything other than my hair that's like that stands out you know my style is pretty mild like i don't really dress crazy or anything like that um so you know it's always my hair <laughs> that's like the, the the root of the problem but I'm not gonna get rid of it. And you know, that's that's fine. But <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I hope this is making sense. Like the whole think realistically about the situation. If you're freaking out over like, I don't know, uh, finances. That's a huge one for us, you know, finances. Um, uh, realistically, what? what's the worst that could happen? Like, what's the worst case scenario? You know, uh, my husband loses his job and I will have to go back to the States or something because I am not Canadian yet and my paperwork hasn't gone through because they're taking, you know, 500 years to get through it and I have to go back home and, you know, make money over there and get a job and, and save up. Like, that's the worst case scenario. But realistically, if he loses his job, he's an optometrist. He can find a job, you know? So, 
when we when we're when we're talking about that when we're talking about finances when we're talking about you know stress of the daily life basically we just we just have to stop and look at ourselves and think okay realistic realistically speaking what's the worst that could happen okay now we know what the worst that could happen is but realistically like will i get to that point if it does we'll be okay we're still alive we're still here you know um but you know for depression and and people who who do have suicidal tendencies or suicidal thoughts that's that's not going to help you need medication you you need you need more therapy you need more help basically um and if you have a friend who or you yourself are depressive or or suicidal or anything like that um there are many 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 hotlines uh um i'm not really sure i'm saying uh um a lot because i live in canada now so you know it, it really differs on where you live like there are numbers that you can look online for the u.s for certain states that you live in for certain countries you live in um and I know, I know not every country has help like that, but there's a huge online community that you can seek out help from. And I think having online friends has helped me a lot with my anxiety um, and just social anxiety in general. So if you can find that little community, I think that would absolutely help because It'll show you that people do care. <laughs> that people do want to see you around. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard to uh, topic to talk about. And the um, reason why I've been thinking about it a lot was because of Anthony Bourdain um, passing yesterday. That really hit me. <laughs> it really hit me hard because I... I watched him a lot with my dad. He's still alive. My dad's still alive. But it's it's a bonding thing. And I really miss my dad because he lives in the States. And I live here. And he's an old dude. <laughs> and I worry about him. And that's another anxiety thing that I have. Is, you know, I worry about death. And I worry about losing people. And that one I, I can't really control. Um, I just have to call him and hear their voice. And that's... You know, that's that's the best I could do. Um, but yeah, sorry about this rambly, sad video. I just... Um, I just really wanted to talk about it because... I don't really have any real-life friends. Like, I don't have any local friends to go to and, like, hang out <laughs> with. I just have online friends. And by online friends, I mean, like... Three. <laughs> Three online friends, I think. I'm usually only talking to my husband, so. I love you. I just, I need more people to talk to, I guess. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video now. Um, if you guys have any tips for each other. And none of this, like, you know, like, um, what's it called? Uh, none of this, like. Uh, warm, gushy, like, self-care bullshits, like, oh, take a bubble bath, and oh, like, um, drink some tea and read a book, like, none, none of that at the end of the day works. Those are all just distractions. What I'm talking about is, like, actual help, <laughs> you know, um, seek psychological help, seek psychiatric help, um, medical help stuff like that because at the end of the day all of that is just gonna distract you from what you were thinking and what's stopping you from relapsing nothing so anyways um <laughs> that went off in a tangent um i promise I'll, I'll i'll try and make a more lively video it's just the past couple of days has not been all that great and um i did i did start streaming on youtube so look forward to that 
But um, I hope you guys are are safe and you know you have someone to talk to. If you don't have someone to talk to, I do have a Discord now. Um, you're more than welcome to join. I'll put the link down below in the comp in the you know uh, in, in the links down below. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tired. Um, you know, talk to each other, help each other out, build a community, um, make local friends if you can, all of that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, keep doing what you like to do. Don't stop drawing. <laughs> Bye.